This video is going to show how to netlist a design in ORCAD Capture. Start by opening a design in ORCAD Capture. To create a netlist, all devices in the schematic must have an associated PCB footprint. For this example, footprints have been assigned already, and the design is ready to be netlisted. Section 1, Creating a Netlist of the Schematic. Select Tools, Create Netlist from the menu. You can view the netlist directly in Capture, or with a text editor such as Notepad. To view the netlist files in Capture, check View Output. Be sure to specify a directory for the netlist files. If the directory does not exist, a prompt will appear asking to create one. Click Yes. The netlist files have been generated. A total of three files are generated, pstxpart.dat with part names and sections, pstxnet.dat with node and net data, and pstchip.dat, which matches the library parts with their primitive models. Section 2, Creating a Netlist and PCB Layout in One Step. The netlist is automatically created when a new PCB layout is added to the project. To create a new PCB layout, select PCB New Layout from the menu. Here you can specify the name of the board file and where to save it. For this example, we will leave the default settings and click OK. ORCAD PCB Designer will open automatically and has automatically imported the required files to communicate schematic connectivity. To place the parts, select Place Components Manually. Check the box next to the part you wish to place to place it on the PCB canvas. To make it easier to see, click Hide in the placement window. Click to place the part. These rat's nest lines show a connection between pins on parts U1 and U2, as they were connected in the schematic. The netlist generation was successful. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.